Hello. I pray that you're well today. The word of God for our thoughts today from Romans chapter 5. How strong are you? Or matter, how weak are you? Have you ever considered yourself God's enemy? Have you ever considered yourself someone apart from God? Let me read this for you. In Romans chapter 5 and verse 6, it says, For you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, without power, without strength, without energy, having no ability, Christ died for the ungodly. He calls us powerless and ungodly. That is, apart from God, ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. Verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were those who missed the mark, while we were those who crossed the line, while we were those who sinned in thought, word, and deed, Christ died for us. It wasn't God said, become right, be good, and then I will love you. When you do good, then you'll be in my right relationship. It says, while we were still sinners, while we were still in that state, Christ died for us. Since we've been now justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Because we've been justified by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are saved from God's wrath, from God's anger. If while we were God's enemies, verse 10, enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more having been reconciled shall we be saved through his life. So he calls, he calls us that we were, we were powerless, we were ungodly, we were sinners, we were his enemies, but he loved us anyway. For while, if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we've now received reconciliation. What does this mean? Do you know what it means? It means with clarity and with certainty that God's grace is bigger than our failure. God's grace is bigger than our missing the mark. God's grace is bigger than our sin. God's grace even is bigger than if we were enemies against God. It says clearly, when we were God, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled. He died for our sins even when we were indifferent. Do you know how much you're loved? Do you know how much you matter to God? Do you know how much it matters that you are who you are? You see, at the right time, when we were powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled through the death of his son, how much more have he been reconciled so we would be saved through his life? See, because in each of these situations, how does he deal with our powerlessness, our ungodliness, our sin, and our being his enemies? How does he deal with it? The cross. The cross of Jesus Christ shows you how much you are loved. It isn't, if you do this, then I will love you. It's, I love you. I show you I love you. I die on the cross to deal with your life apart from me. You are. I am completely in debt to the death of Jesus Christ. I love that hymn, just as I am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. Please pray with me. Lord God, we thank you that while we were still sinners, while we were still apart from you, you died for us. You loved us even though we are far from perfect and you did not wait for us to change our behavior in order for you to love us. You loved us and you gave your son to die for us while we were still sinners. He died for us. 
May we be blessed that we would know the depth of your love. Even when we're powerless and ungodly and sinners and enemies, you died for us in your son Christ. Amen. God bless you today.